formally uh, first of all congratulations for you okay welcome to the merizi topper stock so this is the first attempt you have given the gate exam yes first attempt okay okay so you have passed out in which year in btech yes i passed in 2021 and then i joined the job and in 2022 i decided to attend the gate like Uh, in 2022, I decided that I will attend GET 2023. So I joined MADEZ in January 2022 and I prepared and gave the GATE in 2023. Okay, okay, nice, nice. So you started preparation uh, along with your job. Yes. Oh, nice, nice. Okay, that is nice. Sir. So how you manage your uh, time uh, along with the preparation, office time and uh, preparation time? How you managed? Yes, it was uh, difficult, but like somehow managed. And also, it was like uh, due to Corona and all uh, that time, online was going on, so it was a bit useful. Okay, nice, nice. So you joined our very easy online course and online test series and uh, QRC also, right? Yes. So okay, so all the courses are useful. Yes, all were useful, but definitely the live prime class is the most useful one because there we get the basic concepts. Okay, nice, nice. So how is your made is your online experience? Yes, it was very good. Like uh, I never used to feel that I'm attending online. It was like as good as offline. The teachers are also teaching uh, very efficiently and uh, they also used to clarify your doubts and also the software and the way they taught everything it used to feel very beautiful and like as if we are attending offline a class only okay nice 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 okay so how many hours uh, okay you spent on preparation and how many hours on the job uh, Generally, job was nine hours, but uh, in the meantime, if I could manage time, I used to study, and in the evening, the uh, time was for the made easy classes, and weekends also I uh, used to study. Nice. Okay. So very good. This is really good. I mean, uh, you are so much inspiration to many students. Like uh, many people are working in the software company, and uh, they are willing to prepare for the gate. So the major problem is uh, like they are not able to manage the time because office also will have some pressure, right? Yes. So at the same time uh, here also in the Mary's also will have uh, classes. Okay, hectic classes will be there obviously, right? So yes. fine. So right. Uh, that's really something great uh, from your side. Okay, so you managed both job uh, and also preparation. Okay, yes. and uh, this is your first attempt. Yes, first attempt. First attempt. That's really very good. And many many congratulations wholeheartedly. Thank okay, you, for achieving this, and that too in first attempt, and preparing along with the job. So that is something remarkable. So I mean, I say really uh, proud of you. Okay, because generally we find uh, very difficult to manage the time these days. Yes. Okay, so you manage along with the job. So that is really great. And next, uh, what is the strategy you prepared? Okay, uh, while preparation. Because this video will be in the YouTube and that will be useful for your uh, okay juniors and also yes. those who are currently preparing. So please uh, okay just a brief uh, what is the strategy you followed and uh, how you appeared the test series and how you solved the previous year gate questions. So we would like to hear more from you. <laughs> so uh, basically the first concentration was on attending the class and I used to attend mostly live. Sometimes if I missed due to job and all, then I had to attend the recording that I cannot manage anything. But mostly I used to attend the live class and after the class was over, I used to revise before going for the uh, next class. And uh, when one subject used to get over, I tried to revise the whole subject one. And uh, as it progressed, like I continued the revision in cycles, like one subject, then another subject and uh, so on. And workbook also, I started when the subject was going on and I used to finish uh, before the start of the next subject. For PYQ, uh, the books arrived in April. So uh, from April onwards, I started and I started parallelly like uh, not after completing one subject I'll go to other subject for me it was easy to start all the subjects that is completed parallelly and I um, continued like that and for test series uh, whenever a subject was completed after 
sometime like I used to revise the subject and when I used to feel a bit prepared, like I can attempt the test series now, then I used to start. Okay. So when you started giving test series, sir? A test series also mostly along with the subjects. Like I didn't wait till the end. Um, maybe after one or two months after starting of classes, I started. Okay. So dear students, this is very important point. So generally students will neglect the test series. So, okay. So what is she saying? Like after uh, one of the classes have started after one or two months. So she started giving the test series. So generally many students uh, will, uh, okay, keep the test series till the end okay that is not a good strategy because in the test series you have uh, okay a part syllabus test and a full syllabus test, test so once the subject is completed it is always recommended to go for the test series so somebody you have done very good thing okay so that's nice and uh, next uh, yeah, have you prepared any uh, uh, referred any external sources other sources other than maybe Z? Yes, external sources I also refer some sites from the internet, like where we can get the get questions and all. But mm -hmm. mostly focus was on definitely on made easy sources. Okay, okay, okay. So maybe for some, uh, maybe questions purpose, okay, you refer yes. them. Okay, that is nice. Okay, so what is your plans now? You're planning for any PSU or planning for MTech? No, planning your... for MTech. Okay, planning for MTech. Okay. So next thing, uh, like uh, how you felt about the subjects uh, and especially in the classes, uh, I mean, uh, what was like uh, when you are preparing, uh, when you are attending the online class, uh, so you have taken any prepared any short notes or you are maintaining directly only single notes or rough notes. What is the strategy you followed? Uh, attending classes, while attending classes. Yes, while attending classes, I used to note down like when the teacher was discussing itself, I used to note down uh, parallelly, like listening and noting down. And uh, at the end, when all subjects are completed and the QRC course was started, then I prepared some short notes. Not for all subjects I have not prepared, but for some in which like there are more points to remember and I used to forget more uh, those points, those I maintained in short notes. Okay. So maybe for some important points, so you have written in the short notes. Okay, okay. So QRC also you have attended the entire course. Uh, for entire course I haven't attended. Like uh, I couldn't manage time, but uh, few subjects I had attended. So that is nice. That is nice. Okay, fine. So I mean, uh, did you? I mean, uh, is there any situation you used to feel like okay, we are wasting time in the online or uh, anything like that? No, no. Online course was like, uh, it was very perfect. Like, very perfect. Uh, used to get the concepts also and the time was very precise and uh, everything was perfect. See, remember, uh, dear students, whoever is preparing, okay, from wherever you are preparing. So, what is important is uh, for the student, uh, the time is very valuable, okay. So, we in Medizi, okay, we will give the efficient uh, utilization of the time, we use the efficient utilization of time. So we don't waste any students' time and the classes will be completely regular, okay? So there is no wastage of time, okay? So that is important thing, especially when you are preparing online. So online means definitely some hours will be extra in every subject, okay? It will obviously take because of delay and other things, okay? But if you are not following the efficient timetable, okay, when you are studying, okay, in online, so that is very difficult. So from our side also, it is important not to waste the student time. And it also, you were right also, it is very important not to waste your time. Okay. So, fine. So, congratulations, family. Okay. Uh, I mean, uh, from uh, your parents also. Okay. Right. Uh, very, very happy for you. And uh, single advice, if you want to say to any student, simple advice, single advice, in one sentence advice. Uh, not that much advice. Like, I would recommend that maintaining consist consistency is very important. Like, uh, uh, in the first, most of us are very uh, dedicated, and but as time progresses, the stress also increases, and we cannot manage, and we leave it. Like, but maintaining the consistency is very important. Nice. Okay. So, dear students, this is one important point. Okay, because uh, we see so much thing. Like, uh, okay, initially you have a lot of enthusiasm. Okay, a lot of uh, energy. Okay, right. Uh, so, of course, uh, okay, everyone will have that, but. If you maintain the same thing, okay, for the next, uh, okay, re remaining time of your preparation. So that is very important. Okay. 
so i mean what suggest what somebody suggesting is the important thing is consistency okay right so that is nice somebody so you're planning for iit bombay or iic bangalore yes i have planned both like then there will be interviews and all okay nice nice okay so that is so much nice so congratulations somebody right so you will be Thank inspiration you. for uh, i mean uh, upcoming generation and especially those who are doing job okay right so you have uh, achieved your rank in the first attempt okay along with the job that is really remarkable so we are really proud of you and uh, congratulations to you right. thank you sir thank you very much okay all the best take care